Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I want to show you how to get a background behind your design using the offset feature in Cricut Design Space. So I have this Hello Summer Popsicle design, and I have put this pink background behind it. I'm going to show you how to get the background. If you want to see how I made this popsicle design, um, which I did make in Design Space as well, you can stick around after the um, offset and shadow part, and I'll show you how I made this design, including how I got these little heart swirls and everything. Okay, so let me show you how I made this background. I'm going to delete the one I have on here because we're going to make a new one. Okay, so I've got my basic design here. The first thing I need to do is duplicate this design because when I make its shadow, I might lose some of my parts and I certainly don't want to do that. So make sure that you select everything you have here and duplicate. So now I have a new design down here. I don't need this one just yet. I can hide it to get it out of my way. So I'm going to come over here into my layers and I've got it all grouped in one solid thing. I can just click this first little eye and it hides the whole group for me. So now I'm just working with this design here. It's very important when you're making your offset that everything be welded together. Every part of the design needs to be welded together. So I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm going to take out this summer because it's not going to change any of my outline stuff. Um, it's all within the design. Each part of summer is inside of a popsicle, so I don't really need it. I still have my basic shape here with just these popsicles. Okay, here is popsicle one, weld it. Popsicle two, weld, continue with all of these popsicles. And your design will probably be different. You'll have several parts to weld together. My hello, it already is welded because it was a script font, so I welded that together to begin with. Now what I need to do is weld each little section together. So I'm going to take all these popsicles, select, weld them. Then I'm going to select my popsicles again, hold shift, select my hello, and weld again. Okay, now this is one solid, you see up here where it says weld results? Everything here is one solid welded result. That's what you need to make your offset or your background layer. Everything has to be welded together. If it isn't, your offset will not turn out correct. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna come up here to offset, and let's see here. It's got it at a 0.25, which actually I think already looks pretty good. Um, let me bump it up a little. I think that's going to be too much. Do you all see how it's putting this outline around it? I don't want that much of an outline. I liked the 0.25. So I'm going to come in and type that 0.25 back. Yes, that's a good outline for, for my taste. So I'm just going to hit apply. Okay. So you can see it gave me this black shadow layer. All this welded stuff here, I'm done with. I don't need it. I'm going to delete it. Okay. Now, what about these little gaps here? Um, if you want the little gaps, you can certainly leave them in. If you want to get rid of them, just select your offset and come down here to contour. And then you can click out the little pieces in the middle. Do you see when I clicked each one, they turned gray and they go away. So now we have our solid offset or our solid background. We can bring back in the design we had. So I'm just going to uncheck that. Here's our design. I'm going to arrange, send it to the front, and there it is on top of our offset. We can change the color of this. Let's put it I had it this kind of brighter pink over here. I came into advanced and I'm going to kind of just scroll through my color wheel here and get it to be a brighter pink. There we go. Okay, so that is how you're going to put an offset around your entire design. Remember, make sure every piece is welded together. You want one solid welded design to make that offset. And don't forget to duplicate. 
because when you weld it all together, you're going to um, lose the different colors and things that you have going on in here. Okay, now if you want to see how I made this actual design, Hello Summer. So what I did is I went to Creative Fabrica and I found a popsicle. In fact, I'm just going to delete this whole thing and start from scratch and show you how I did it. So I found this popsicle in Creative Fabrica and I used it to make basically this whole design. So we need to duplicate this popsicle. So I now have six for the six letters in summer. I'm just going to spread them out here. Okay. Now to get them aligned the way they need to be, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to come to align and I'm going to align the tops of them. And then I'm going to distribute them evenly horizontally. And so now they're perfectly spaced and perfectly aligned. Now I can start changing their colors. Okay, so to change their colors, I'm going to get this little ice cream part of one. I clicked it over here in my layers tab. I'm going to change its color up here <clears throat> to this kind of vanilla color, but I want it just a smidge darker than that. So I've bumped it up just a little bit in my advanced color tool. Okay. Now, I want all the rest of these bottoms to be that same color. So I'm going to come over here to Color Sync, and every bottom that I have, I'm going to drag to this yellow ice cream color. It's a much quicker way of changing all the colors. Okay, those are done. Now I'm going to come back to my Layers tab here. Do you all see how I'm switching back and forth? Okay, I'm going to change the top of this ice cream now. So I've selected this ice cream. I'm going to come over to my Layers tab and just get the top of it, and I'm going to make it this blue color. And I want the same thing on this ice cream. Select it, this blue color. Okay. And then the next one, I think I had like a purple, let's see. I don't really remember the exact colors that I had in the design, but I'm just going to go ahead and put some colors in here that I think are going to work good. Let's make this one like a yellow, but maybe a brighter yellow. Let's bump that up. Yellow is hard. We'll leave it there. <clears throat> and this one like a green, I guess. Let me bump that up too. There we go. Okay, so all of that is looking pretty good. We want that all to stay where it is, so we're going to drag a box around it, group it together. Now we need to get our text. So for summer, I typed in, let's see, let me get my font. I used this Sorinka font that I got from Creative Fabrica, and I will link to all of these fonts and everything and to this popsicle design. And I typed in the word summer. I drag it down here, kind of made it big enough to fit. Okay, so you can see this is right now too big. I need to manipulate each letter in this word. So advanced, ungroup to letters, and I can now work with each letter individually. Unlock this guy, make him a little smaller, unlock summer, shrink that in. We're going to delete this M and duplicate this one and drag him over here. And then the E, just make it smaller. And the R, make it smaller. Okay, so hello summer. I need all of these letters to be connected together again so that when I cut them, they don't lose their shape or their placement. 
So I'm going to select the S, hold my shift key, and select every other letter, and weld. Now they're welded together, they're not going to come apart when I cut them, that's the exact locations that they will stay in. And I had all of that white, so I'm going to come up here to my color box, and I'm going to pick white. Okay, we're getting there. All of this is good to go. I don't want it to move. I'm going to drag my box and group it together. Okay, now I need the hello. So I'm going to get my text box, change my font, come up here, and this one was flashback, I believe. Yes, flashback, again, from Creative Fabrica. Okay, so there's the basic font, but I had those um, had those swirls on it, so I'm going to show you how to get those. I'm going to come over here. I am in the font cloud of Creative Fabrica. Let me show you how to get that. Okay, so here's Creative Fabrica. You can come to Tools and Font Cloud. This is completely free. If you have downloaded this font to FontCloud and to your computer, then it will show up in FontCloud. Um, I have another video that shows you how to do that. I'll link to that so that we don't make this too long. Let me scroll down to Flashback. Okay. So I'm going to type my word. Hello. And then I'm going to scroll through here to find all the extras that I wanted. I wanted the ones with the little hearts. So here's my H. Click it, and it says it copied to the clipboard. So I'm going to delete that first H, and I'm going to paste. On my computer, Control-V does the paste. Um, I believe on a Mac, it's Command-V. Let me go get the O. Um, here's the O. So I clicked it, it copied it to my clipboard, come up here, backspace, control V to paste, and now I have my hello. All you need to do, if you've got your special characters in here, this is how they look when they're typed in, this is how they'll look when we get it into the font. Come up here to where it's all typed in and you have these funky X's, select it all, Copy it, control C or command C to copy. Come over to design space. I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Control V and it pastes it right into design space with your hearts. Okay, make this bigger. Take the letter spacing down to zero. Bump it in just a little bit more so that everything connects and looks pretty. There's my hello. Again, we need to weld all of that together and kind of size it here. So I've got hello and I've got my summer popsicles. I'm going to select everything and center it. Align, center horizontally. Okay, now I can turn my hello white. Come to my color box, white. Select everything, group it together. I now have my design again that I can make the offset or the shadow for. All right, that's all there is to it. We'll see you next time.